how do you create a quote unquote winning mindset? How do you develop the mindset that'll prime you to be successful, to basically be the type of person that winners wanna be around, that, that, gets, that, that gets shit done and become successful in life. So um, a couple ways, number one naturally is to there's an obvious answer here. Stop complaining. Stop bitching about life. Stop being a victim. Assume full accountability. That's the that's the that's the short answer. But easy easier said than done, right? One of the uh, best tactics that I've seen for this is uh, from a book called Top Ten, ironically, Top Ten Distinctions Between Winners and Whiners. And it's something I came across when I was in business school. I've always been a positive guy, uh, optimistic. I never I always look at things on the bright side. I always look at the bright side of things. It's not the bad side of things that I'm gonna look at it poor me anyways. But I found myself in a situation with a particular family family member that was getting on my nerves and it was almost becoming an identity to complain about him. About, oh, he's doing this, he's so annoying. He's getting on my nerves, this and that, this and that, this and that. I would call my sister like, oh, he's doing this again, he's doing this again. Then I'd call up Keith, I'd go, he's doing this again. And it just isn't helpful to anything. But then somehow, I, when I was in business, one of my favorite things to do was to go to Barnes & Noble, go to the book, the bookstore. Well, it's always been one of my favorite things to do, just look at look at books and pick up something and take them home and whatnot. And I stumbled across this book and it's like a 45 minute read. It's not like I'm shilling for the book, but it's actually true. And I was reading it, I was, I was going through it. And there was this tactic I'm about to introduce here. And it was uh, called the no complaining uh, tactic, something along those lines. But in essence, what it was was, that for two weeks, you don't complain about anything ever at all. And I'm not exaggerating when I said that this transform changed my entire way of looking, entire way of looking at things. I don't wanna say it changed my life totally, but I felt as though I had a complete and utter breakthrough. Because not only did I did I realize that whatever was bothering me about, there was just this one particular person, but you realize in other areas of your life where this is actually happening. But in doing so, it, it allowed me to just let that energy go totally. And what it also does is it fosters and breeds accountability. Now, it got to the point where no matter what happened to me, I found a way to make it. Because I feel as though anything that happens to you can be traced back to a choice that you made. So it got a little extreme. Stuff would happen and I wouldn't be. And sometimes I'd have to force myself to be upset. But it was like, and when I was younger, it was a hot hit. So it was... I totally released that and I had to force myself to be upset because I totally released the idea of victimhood. Oh, this is this person's fault. This person did this to me. This is why this. Instead, just adopting the whole mindset of this is in my control. Everything that happens is a byproduct either of my actions or my thoughts. So that's incredibly, it can be incredibly scary if you're the person that likes excuses. You know, if so, you probably shouldn't watch. But if you, but if you're somebody that that, that once you get over that part, is actually scared because everyone, like, let's let's be fair, everybody has made excuses, you know, and it's uh, and sometimes we think those are valid reasons, even though they're just legitimate, they're just really just excuses, crutches, call it what you want. So that's what it does. So again, a simple little thing is going two weeks without complaining, and let's say you drop ten dollars, right? You lose ten dollars, falls out of your pocket, twenty dollars. Instead of going, man, I hate my life. I lost twenty dollars. Say, somebody uh, that needed twenty dollars got lucky. You see the difference? And yes, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be a little awkward, but it's incredibly liberating and it's actually is quite transformative. So that's one thing that I would recommend. Try that. There's another challenge in the book too, and I would just encourage you to read the book. It's a forty-five minute read, which is. Uh, listening exercise, but I get into that some other time. Two weeks, no complaining. And if you want to kick it up a notch, kind of like the goal setting tactic, a strategy, so to speak, have an accountability partner. If you complain, I guess you can't be monitored at all the time. If somebody catches you complain, make sure that they, they charge you and you pay for it. Money seems to motivate people, doesn't it? So getting your money took ten seems to motivate people so that's something that i would urge anybody to try it and if you want to try it and hit me up let me know how it goes for you and how you feel about it for me it was a big big deal and i i i love what it did for me i later had to retrain myself to get upset with things that i could legitimately be upset about 
but it's a lot better than being mad at shit that is really your own goddamn fault. So try that two weeks.